Hi folks, good to be with you again today. I'm Kevin Smith, one of the pastors here at Hope Lutheran Church. I love the story that Chuck Swindell has told. He said, remember the teenager who got a job working as a delivery boy for a florist? Things went well, then one day he had the responsibility of delivering two sets of flowers. One was for the funeral home, and the other was for a big church that had been relocated to a new location, to a larger sanctuary. He got a little confused, and he switched the deliveries. The irate preacher called up the florist, saying, Our dedication service starts in just 30 minutes, and in the front of our sanctuary is a huge bouquet of flowers with the words written on it, Rest in peace. The florist said, huh, you think you've got problems? Somewhere in this town, there is a set of flowers next to a casket, which say, good luck in your new location. <laughs> Even though this is a challenging time in which to live. Even though we may be getting many mixed messages about what's going on and how this is going to be impacting us. Even though we may be confused at times, we need to be crystal clear about this truth. Jesus makes life better. Jesus makes life better. And I love these words to help us focus, especially right now during this season of Lent. Let these words focus on how Jesus makes our lives better. I ran across these words years ago. They are still so potent and so powerful. When I fall, he lifts me up. When I am weak, he is strong. When I am lost, he is the way. When I stumble, he steadies me. When I am hurt, he heals me. When I am broken, he mends me. When I am blind, he leads me. When I am hungry, he feeds me. When I face trials, he is with me. When I face persecution, he shields me. When I face problems, he comforts me. When I face loss, he provides for me. When I face death, he carries me home. He is everything for everybody. Everywhere, every time, and every way. He is God. He is faithful. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is the keeper of creation and the creator of all. He is the architect of the universe and the manager of all times. He always was. He always is. And he always will be unmoved, unchanged, undefeated, and never undone. He was pierced and eased pain. He was persecuted and brought freedom. He was dead and brought life. He is risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. The world cannot understand him. Armies can't defeat him. The schools can't explain him. The leaders can't ignore him. He is light. He is love. He is longevity and Lord. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness, and God. He is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, and pure. His ways are right. His word is eternal. His will is unchanging. His mind is on me. He is my savior. He is my guide. He is my peace. He is my comfort. He is my redemption. Jesus does make life better. Let us always be crystal clear about this truth and let that truth penetrate the darkness that seeks to overwhelm us now. Let that truth continue 
to shine brightly. Let us always be clear that Jesus does make life better in the midst of the chaos and mixed messaging that we are experiencing even today, again, in the 21st century. Jesus makes life better. God bless. We'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot. And remember, God loves you, and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Bye now.